Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and I am a formal, former client of Yashika's Intuition. Um, although I don't really like to say that I'm former because I genuinely use everything she taught me every single day. Um, and I've been meaning to do a um, client testimonial um, for a really long time and I just, I felt inspired to do so today. So I'm here to tell you about why I came to Yashika, um, how she helped me, um, how I've seen it um, work for me, and then just give you um, one less little bit of advice. So um, last summer, um, actually for probably three or four years, I've been really struggling with where I was at in my career. Um, I was really good at what I was doing and I was working my way up, but I was just not happy and I would find all these side projects to kind of fill my cup but I knew that how I spent the majority of my time just wasn't wasn't right for me and um, you know I figured that in the middle of a pandemic no better way to make a change but I think COVID really kind of solidified for me that life is short and you should not waste a moment's time being unhappy um, or not uh, pursuing your life's work. And so I have been following Yashika um, for several years on social media, part of her newsletter. Um, and then she was kind of doing a mid-year coaching campaign. And I knew that what I needed wasn't a career coach, even though what I was focused on was trying to define my career. Um, Cause I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't know how to get there. And I felt like the work that I needed was inside of me. Um, and so I reached out to her, we had a, a consultation call and you know I knew that our chemistry was right from the start, uh, right off the bat. And I really described to her like, look, I, I know where I'm supposed to be and who I'm supposed to be. I just don't know how to get there. And um, the things that I've been trying just aren't working. And the way I described it to her was I was I felt as though I was standing at the edge of a cliff with a parachute, kind of just ready to jump and fly, um, but there was no wind. There was nothing to pick that parachute um, or even to propel me off that edge to kind of take off. Um, I just felt like this dead weight. Um, and she's like, okay, well, let's figure out how, how we kind of put some wind in your sails. Um, and so, you know, as I went through the program with Yashika, I think, there's so many good things about it. One, it's multi-faceted. Um, so there's videos and there's workbooks and there's coloring sheets and there's one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and there's Facebook groups and there's um, you know inspirational quotes and there's books. And so regardless of how you learn or how you engage, um, I just really appreciated that there was multiple ways to come at the content. Um, the second thing is that uh, Yashika is very methodical in her approach in terms of help, helping you get clarity around who you are. And, and each week that you work with her, it builds on what you've learned before. And that has, that has immense, um, immense power in it. And so this isn't, you know, she, it's spiritual mastery, but um, it's really like mastery of self. Which I guess is one and the same, um, but it is a it is a class, and there is science behind it, and there is thought, and there is emotion, and there is personality behind it, um, and all of those things combined were really really helpful. Uh, the third thing, I mean, the list is long, but the third thing that I really appreciated was that Yashika really has this ability to balance emotion and your personality against. Um, with logic and intuition. And so it's not about not acknowledging those emotions, but I'm highly reactionary. I'm black or white. I'm either all in or all out. And she kind of restored this balance in my life that um, one, I didn't even know existed. And she really helps you get still with yourself and um, listen, gain clarity around who you are, to listen to that, um, to sit in it and to really define what your future looks like. And for me, how it worked is basically the moment that I kind of wrote down my mission statement, things started falling into place. 
And I, I want to be very clear, this isn't about a magic wand. This isn't about Yushika like telling you your future and then you just going off and doing it and it's easy. Um, Cause that's not the case, but I will say that the moment that I put down on paper who I wanted to be and what I wanted my life to look like, everything started um, coming into place. And one is I think that you, once you have that clarity, you look for those opportunities, fulfill that. So it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, you're open to opportunities. You have, you don't get distracted as easily because you're not like, oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? It's like, no, I know what it is. And it's, it either is or isn't. And it, if it doesn't fall in that in line with who you are. And one of the quotes that I keep on my desk, I, I just keep on my desk, it says, Please align my actions with the universal source and allow my dreams to materialize with the help through my actions. And that to me captures what Yushika taught me, which is there is the universe that's working with me and I have to work with it. Um, and I just have to put all of those things in alignment. And literally um, I went from having this corporate job um, and then I resigned and I was able to get a severance package. And then it led me to consulting work, which now has led me to my dream position. And now I am the director of marketing communications for a cultural art center. <laughs> and that is quite literally the exact thing that I wrote down about nine months ago. Um, and so uh, that's how it works for me. I will also want to make one other thing very clear if you're still paying attention is that I put in the work. So Yushika has an amazing framework. She's an excellent coach. She is responsive and creative and she asks you difficult questions um, that force you to really define what it is you want. Um, but then you have to go and execute on it. It's not up to her. So if you're not in a place where you want to put in the effort, you're not gonna have the same results that I did. Um, I was very deliberate in how much time I dedicated to um, the activities, to the thought process, and now it is just an ingrained part of who I am. And I approach every day with um, intentionality and intuition. And uh, that's a mind shift. It, it really is. Um, I was just thinking this morning that I'm still getting used to things working out. Um, and, you know, that's not that it's easy. You know, this transition was really hard on my marriage. Um, it did not go over well with my husband in terms of, you know, finances and, and leaving a secure job in the middle of the pandemic. Um, so there were some really tough conversations, some really hard days, and so it's not easy, but it is so worth it. So if you are in that place where you want to fly and you just don't know how, I think Yushika is the perfect person to put some wind in your sails, um, and I cannot recommend her enough. And I am still a client of hers. I still go back to my worksheets um, whenever I need, where I feel a little bit lost or confused, which honestly doesn't happen all that often because that intuition is just now my daily mindset. But when it does, I revisit her lessons. Um, and I feel like she's kind of always with me. So that's my story with Yushika's intuition and can't say enough good things about her. All right, bye, good luck.